This is by far the best opponent that he has faced. With all due respect, yeah. what did he say? Do hey. you think he beats Dubois? It's, it's hard to say. It's really a difficult question. Excuse me? This would be the first proper live opponent that Anthony Joshua would have beaten in his career. <laughs> If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So today, we are here to talk about the all-British showdown between the big men, the big fight, literally and figuratively because they're heavyweights, right? Upcoming on September 21st, good Lord willing, this Saturday, we have the fantastic fight between Daniel Dubois and Anthony Joshua for the IBF championship, man. I think that this has the potential to be one of the best fights that we've seen this year. And that's saying a lot, right? Because we've seen great showdowns a lot this year. We see quite a few, you know, one of them including Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk to establish heavyweight dominance, you know, the first undisputed heavyweight champion in the last quarter century, you know, 25 years. And we have that rematch coming up on December 21st, good Lord willing. And we're also going to see on October 12th, Arthur Bedebia versus Dimitri Bivol for light heavyweight dominance, you know, the first, uh, not the first, but undisputed uh, light heavyweight dominance between Bivol and BF. So I'm not saying that facetiously and I'm not saying it whimsically. Check this out though. First of all, you throwing too many big words at me. Okay, now, because I don't understand them, I'm going to take them as disrespect. Watch your mouth. When I mentioned that Joshua and and Dubois have the potential to be one of the best fights this year. That's how big and 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 magnificent this fight is. You know, it definitely has that potential. You know, I, the magnitude of this fight is heavy because the winner of this could potentially go for undisputed themselves against the winner of Tyson Fury and uh, Alexander Usyk in the future. However, though, we have some people that are kind of like slow down, little buddy. <laughs> Anthony Joshua may be a little hyped up, you know, they kind of discrediting Anthony Joshua and there's kind of, they're, they're, they're questioning his, his resume as of late because Anthony Joshua has been on a tear with Ben Davies. But I think before you make a judgment, you know, I think you should slow down and just listen to what these people are saying. Like, a, like the trainer, uh, Gallagher right here, man, check him out. This would be the first proper live opponent that Anthony Joshua would have beaten in his career in Daniel Dubois. Excuse me, what? Klitschko was 42. He'd been retired 18 months, hadn't fought Tyson Fury. This could be Anthony Joshua's first big win against a real live thing. Wow. So uh, that rubbed some people the wrong way. And some people are saying, oh, well, you know, he's affiliated with Tyson Fury. So of course he's going to downplay Anthony Joshua's greatness. <laughs> But I do think if you look at it objectively, what he's saying is partially right. You know, when we think of Anthony Joshua, we think of his best win being who? Vladimir Klitschko, where Vladimir Klitschko is 41 going on 42. You know, he's 41 pushing 42 when Anthony Joshua fought him and just coming off of his loss to Tyson Fury. Not to discredit Anthony Joshua at all. Vladimir Klitschko is an all-time great, but he's an all-time great that was fading. Most definitely, you got to acknowledge that. And then also, you can say one of his best wins was probably who? Alexander Povetkin? Guess what? He was 39 pushing 40. Damn. I'm sorry. So when, when Gallagher and others say, hey, man, you know, Daniel Dubois is first formidable champion that's young and, and a live dog. Well, that's what they're referring to, you know, when he did lose to Andrew Ruiz. And not even to mention those things, but also the last four fights, right? Anthony Joshua's last four fights included Francis Ngannou, who, as we know, he's not a legitimate boxer. He's a great fighter in, in combat sports, a combat sport phenom, you could argue, but he's not a boxer. You know, it's only a second fight. He, so he fought him and beat him, obliterated him, and looked good for boxing to hold it down one time. You feel me? And then he also fought Francis Ngannou. I mean, like I said, so he fought Francis Ngannou. He also fought Otto Wallen, who he had f he, familiarity with as a sparring partner. And, you know, he kind of did what he was supposed to do there. And then he fought Jermaine Franklin. And Robert Hellenius, you know, those are his last four fights, you know, so so in no particular order, uh, um, Francis Ngannou, Jermaine Franklin, uh, Robert Hellenius, and Otto Wallen. So if you look at Daniel Dubois' last four wins, you know, his last four fights, excuse me, it was who? Jarrell Big Baby Miller, Philip Hergovich, which was a great fight. He was an underdog. He also had Alexander Usyk, who he lost to, but that's okay because they both have a commonality of losing to Alexander Usyk. And and then his last one was uh, uh, Kevin Lorena, right, who was also a good fighter. So his last four fights are include three wins and one loss. The three wins being Kevin Lorena, um, 
in chronological order, and then he beat uh, B. Baby Miller, and then most recently Philip Hergovich, and then he lost in in the meantime, between time, to Alexander Usyk. But that's not too bad because Anthony Joshua also lost to Alexander Usyk twice. So what they're saying is, but that and that was that was actually Anthony Joshua's five fights ago. Five fights ago, he lost to Alexander Usyk. So I think what they're saying is pretty accurate. Now. When you ask them who's going to win, you know, Anthony Joshua's a favorite, rightfully so. You know, I think it's a pretty even fight, man. I think it's about 50-50 either way. Plus, you know, they're heavyweights. They're both big punchers. So I think it's going to come down to a, a, a battle of mental fortitude and heart, you know, and um, whoever gets hit first, you know. So I don't think it's necessarily that bad when people question. Not, they're not really, you know, I think it's, it's your delivery, though, right? It's your delivery. You can acknowledge that Klitschko is his best best win at Anthony Joshua. And you can also acknowledge that Daniel Dubois poses a big threat. But you could also say, you know, Anthony Joshua has, ha, hasn't earned his reputation. But I don't think there's any doubt that if, Dan, if Anthony Joshua beats Daniel Dubois, Daniel Dubois will be the best victory on Anthony Joshua's resume. And I think that's what they're saying. In fact, check out what this other, other heavyweight contender has to say about Daniel Dubois. Do you think he beats Dubois? Bonjour. It's, it's hard to say. It's really a difficult question. You give him a chance. You give him a solid chance to, to pull off the upset, Dubois. Yeah. So you see, even Big Bang Zhang, Zayle Zhang, you know, who's also a heavyweight, uh, one of the top heavyweights in the division right now, he's um he's giving Daniel Dubois a, a pretty big chance to win, you know, for the upset. And me personally, I'm also giving Danny, Daniel Dynamite Dubois a, a, a big chance to win against Anthony Joshua this Saturday. Now, does that mean that Anthony Joshua is not going to win? No, but I think that Daniel Dubois is kind of being overlooked by some. I don't think Anthony Joshua is taking him lightly himself, but just the fact that even he even the fact that Anthony Joshua got chin checked by Andy Ruiz and we know Daniel Dubois nickname is Dynamite for a reason you know that should give you a little bit of you know a little confidence that he could shake something up you know what I'm saying come Saturday and but like I said too you know this is not outside the realm of possibility that Anthony Joshua could win so I think uh before we get mad at uh Gallagher you know trainer Gallagher we get mad at Zayle Zhang or any of the commentators or analysts or experts or fans uh, before we get mad at them for saying that Daniel Dubois may be Anthony Joshua's best opponent, I mean, if we look at their resume, resume especially their recent activity, I don't think that's necessarily a knock because the, if the same people, if they're honest, will also admit that, you know, Daniel Dubois, well, even though it was a long time ago, he did lose to Joe Joyce. You know, his eye was busted, but he lost. And then and then he also lost to U Usyk, you know, by stoppage. So Anthony Joshua definitely has a chance. Um, me personally, I'm going, I, I agree with Zhang. I think that Daniel Dubois will win. But will I be shocked if AJ wins? No, I think it's a 50-50 fight. I'm just leaning towards Daniel Dubois, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do you think that Gallagher is just being biased? Do you think other people are discrediting AJ because they're hating? Or do you think that it's a pretty good fight? You know what I'm saying? And it's a great British showdown that's going to happen that could go either way man y'all let me know in the comments man i appreciate y'all rocking me as always don't forget to like the video but most importantly remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets